The Hall of Famer Jimmy Johnson, Fox Sports analyst for years, is joining us, part of the uh, Fox NFL Sunday crew. So let's start with the Niner thing. It's really interesting. Quarterback has never been more valuable in this league. They're the soul, the heart of a football team, the coach and the quarterback. Brock Purdy can probably win your division. He's been in the system, Jimmy, for a while. He, he can probably, you know, he's been here all camp. He could probably win a home playoff game against the Giants. But, boy, I don't see him going to a Philadelphia, right? What would you do? Would you, <laughs> would you sniff a Baker Mayfield? Would you give him a workout? What would you do? Yeah, I, I would take a look at Baker, uh, depending on the contract, depending on the commitment. Uh, there may be a couple of other teams interested in Baker Mayfield. Uh, but I was impressed with Purdy. Now, <laughs> that was a, just a, a restricted uh, showing. Yeah. But I thought he did an excellent job. And with that defense for the 49ers, you know, they're going to have a shot against anybody uh, as long as the quarterback doesn't turn it over and have negative plays. Yeah, I saw Purdy play in the preseason. I said he's a little Taylor Heineke. He's a little bit of a gamer. Um, you know, you know, it's interesting, Jimmy. They never asked Garoppolo to make dangerous throws. They, I mean, they, they didn't ask a lot from Garoppolo. Could I not argue right. Purdy is a more mobile Garoppolo maybe? <laughs> He he may be, you know, and time will tell. I know we watched Purdy, you know, when he was at Iowa State. He was a scrapper, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't ask him to do a whole lot up there, but, you know, they loved him up there. So when I watched Miami, I felt, as I watched it, that Tua, uh, he could sense the pass rush. He is a smaller athlete. Right. He's had injuries. He didn't play with a lot of swagger. Uh, you know, you start falling behind with that pass rush, Jimmy. You just wrote a book, Swagger. You know Miami right. well. What was your interpretation of the afternoon for McDaniel and Tua and the like? I, you know, I, I think considering, you know, they didn't have their offensive tackles in there. Uh, Tua knew that. Uh, he was getting rid of the football just as quick as he could, and yeah. he was throwing high. Uh, normally, he is a very accurate passer. He got a good touch on the ball. Uh, but he was not accurate yesterday, and, and that hurt him. Uh, but they also show that they're an explosive team. You know, if you give him protection with those receivers, uh, they can explode and they can score in a hurry. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I said pretty much since, you know, you have left Dallas, uh, you and Bill both, is that I've seen Dallas in these standalone TV games beat wobbly teams and the Colts are really wobbly, but you know, the margins shrink in late December and January. I don't trust them situationally. Um, you know, this, I, that's where it worries me. But when Dallas rolls over a team, you look at them athletically, do games last night change your mind? Where are you on Dallas today? Well, yesterday uh, on Fox NFL Sunday, I said, you know, that Dallas will get on a roll for the next three weeks. Uh, they'll pad a bunch of statistics, and then we'll find out how good they are when they play Philadelphia on Christmas Eve, and then they go on the road yeah. to play the Titans and the Commanders. Uh, so we're not going to know anything more about Dallas until those last three weeks. But they're an extremely talented team. Uh, they'll beat the heck out of Houston this weekend, and then they'll beat – Jacksonville the next week, and uh, everybody will be raving about it. They may be the best team in the league, but we won't know until we see them against Philadelphia. Um, some have suggested, myself included, they could use a little juice. OBJ is interesting. He wouldn't have to be the primary. Would you disrupt the room? Would you take a chance on that or no? See, I don't think it would disrupt the room. I, I just wonder how healthy OBJ is. I, I, I just wonder... When would he make a contribution? Uh, he might not make a contribution until uh, maybe the last week or two of the season in the playoffs. Uh, but without question, he's a talented receiver, and he can help that room. Uh, now it's just a matter of what are you going to pay you know, to get him and how, much, how big a commitment are you going to have uh, with the guy that's coming off of a couple of knee surgeries uh, you know, for a two- or three-, four-year commitment. So, you know, it's... I believe there's three quarterbacks in this league now that are just different. Mahomes, Burrow, and Josh Allen. Mahomes, the talent's obvious. I could see that. Allen, the size and arm is obvious. I could see that. Burrow's different. 
He doesn't blow you away in size, arm strength. There is something there, though, Jimmy. Did you spot it in college? Did you think this is what we were going to get as a pro? Yeah, Norv Turner, you know, who was my quarterback coach uh, with the Cowboys, and, of course, he was a head coach in this league for a long time, a couple of different places. He worked out a bunch of the quarterbacks when they came out the year that Burrow came out. And he called me. He said he is the best uh, that I've ever seen. He said he's the most accurate. He's the most confident. Uh, he's athletic. Uh, he, he's the best I've ever seen coming out of college. And, you know, right now you got to go Burrow and, and Mahomes. Yeah. Uh, but the only thing, I would also throw Herbert in there with Josh Allen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. A lot of people like Herbert. Finally. So when you coach college, God, if you could get a bonus here and a bonus there and make a million bucks, you were living to get a free car at a local dealership, right? Now these college coaches making seven, eight, nine million or something. Would you leave Michigan if you were Harbaugh? Uh, well, when I went to the Cowboys, I made 400000 So <laughs> that's what I was making at the University of Miami. <laughs> Uh, if I, I, I told you the story earlier, and then I'll say it again. Uh, like I told Butch Davis when Butch was at the University of Miami, uh, he, you know, he had me kind of go in between, you know, with uh, Ernie, of course, some of the people at Cleveland. And I said, Butch, I said, you can go to Cleveland uh, and get you a sack full of money and then get fired and go back to college. Uh, <laughs> as far as Harbaugh, hey, really. He's got him a uh, he's got him a pretty good situation right there in Michigan. I know he's got to fight Ohio State, uh, but you jump in the NFL, uh, a lot of things can go wrong. Yeah, uh, more things can go wrong than can go right. I promise you that. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean you know Jimmy, more so today. In your era, you could be a run first team and be really really good. Now you had Aikman, obviously. I mean, I love Vrabel and Derrick Henry, but I can't consider the Titans a Super Bowl team. I don't know if you can win. If you don't have a great quarterback, can you win? you got to have a franchise quarterback. You know, the, the old days of the Baltimore Ravens having the one of the greatest defenses ever step on the field and run the football and don't turn it over with Trent Dilfer, you know, th those days are long gone. Uh, you've got to have a franchise quarterback, a quarterback that can make plays. Uh, it's, it's all about the passing game now, Colin. You know, they have protected those receivers and the quarterback such now that the rules, it's all throwing the football. Now, yeah. you, you, it's nice to have a little running game, you know, for certain situations in the game. Uh, but points come in the passing game, and you've got to have a franchise quarterback to do that. The book is Swagger. You see it behind Jimmy Johnson. It's available Amazon.com and stores now. As always, Jimmy, it's an absolute pleasure. Have great holidays and great seeing you on a Monday. And thanks for Swagger. Uh, that'll be a great Christmas present for somebody. It sure would. <laughs> I've already about three quarters of the way through it. It's fantastic stories from Jimmy Johnson, his football life. Thanks, Coach. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.